Hello everyone, I'm Vishy, and today we are playing, maybe for the last time, Alan Wake 2! I am hopefully going to be finishing the game today, uh, so I'm pretty excited. We are either in the last few chapters or second to last chapters for both the characters. Um, so we're going to be getting into that in a little bit. I think that we should go ahead and get to Alan Wake 2 and see the exciting ending of the game. Either way, let's go ahead and uh, switch over here. Let's do it. All right. We're in it. We're doing it. Is Alan waking up finally? We'll see. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if he's awake at long last. Okay. So right now, um, let's see. Last time I streamed this was last Friday. And we were running through, what's the map say? What were we doing? Not that, not that. Let me see. Yeah, get to Parliament Tower is our next goal. We were playing as Alan. We're in the theater? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the very last thing that happened was we just got done with this whole theater section of the game. And it's just playing like a f actual movie. Like it's replaying it right now. But it's like... I think it's like 20 minutes long. Yeah, we watched Finnish Art House movie. Yeah, the whole thing. I just stood here and watched the whole thing at the end of stream last time. I was like, I don't want to not watch it. <laughs> I was also ready to end the stream, but I was like, well, I don't know if it's going to replay. It looks like it was just going to keep replaying, but... Oh, 16 minutes. Okay. Watch it on YouTube after. Yeah, yeah, it's, it just sucks a little bit because the end game is not the best experience, and I don't know if there's a way for me to like zoom in on it to actually experience it properly. So YouTube's probably your best bet, but either way, we watched the whole thing and uh, now we gotta get to Parliament Tower. So let's just head on over. There's this, oh yeah, the echo right here. Is it gonna be, oh, oh shoot. It's guiding me through? Huh? Oh, it's through there. I probably need to change the plot board but I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. Hmm. There would always be another case for Casey. Case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. Roll credits. Huh. All right. So I think I need to change this to get out of here. Flip the lost film. Maybe that one. Yeah, that lets us out. All right. Uh, I will say there's lots of stuff you wouldn't expect to need to buy a ticket for in Japan that you'll probably have to buy tickets for if nothing's changed since 2017. A lot, a lot could have changed in that much time. We'll see. We had to buy a ticket to eat at the Final Fantasy Cafe and tour the Cup Noodle Museum, so I definitely keep that in mind. Yeah, no, those are things that I would expect to need a ticket. I, I, I know that, um, oh my god, is there a TV show I missed? I don't even know where the TV's playing, but, um, at this point, I recognize that Japan has a lot of stuff like that where you need to have a reservation ahead of time or have a ticket or pay in advance and that kind of stuff. So I would just assume I need to <laughs> and look into it, but I appreciate the advice. Either way, in case I didn't know. Here's another one. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. No love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Is that it? Alright, that was a short one. I put a lot of effort into this content. I don't want to let all that effort be for nothing. Exactly! If there's like a little movie in a game, I'm gonna watch the movie. It's just like me for real! 
What? <laughs> okay. Parliament Tower is all the way over there. Am I missing? Oh, another echo behind me? Where? Upstairs? Uh, I don't know about that. Where is it? Let me walk towards it. Oh, I don't know about that. No, it's here. Where is it? I hear it. It is right to my right, like right here. Up there! Now where's the shadow? That could be on the roof. I don't know. I might skip that one. I'm not gonna get everything I'm I'm realizing in this game. I'm just trying to get as much as I can. Like there's two more I haven't gotten to. I could go for this one. I'm abandoning that one. Okay, so let's just head back. I don't know if I can go through there though. I think I have to go through the car wash. Go through the car wash, turn right. And then turn left. It's too bad. Oh, hello. Are any of you gonna be mean? Or can I go? God, there's so many. They've all just been waiting for me. Oh, something right here. Nothing! Risk my life for nothing. I should heal, actually. It's a little low. Do I need to reload anything? No. Yeah, I think we're in chapter 8 for both characters, which should be second to last. I have one light right now. I could take this one, right? Yeah, let's take this light. I have two. Oh my god, don't get stuck. I think it's so funny when you, like, change the plot board and Alan is literally stuck behind a wall. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Let's fix that. Hey. Okay. Anna! Howdy, Anna. How you doing? Oh, yeah, let's put this back in my inventory. Oh, you know what? I wasn't, uh... I didn't have these in my quick slot. Let's actually do that and then get rid of the big one, because it's too big. surviving but i'm here well i'm glad that you're surviving i'm glad that you're here i wish you were thriving but i'm glad you're here anna i am hopefully finishing this game tonight i'm pretty excited to see the ending of this and then i get to play gaiden 24 7 until yakuza 8 comes out and it's great <laughs> Okay, I see the echo between all of these guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bad shadow. Bad. Anyone else want a taste? Uh-huh, I see you. I see you over there. I think that's it. Where do you go? Inside this messy maze of blood trails I was chasing a cult through, I ran into the filmmaker, Thomas Zane, an esoteric bohemian with a hard-on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is the cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias? 
for Scratch. There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane, with whatever means necessary. Right? Oh my god, there's more shadows! Alright, so now we gotta get to Parliament Tower, which is behind me. I think we should go through the plaza and then to the right. Is it ringing again? Oh, it is. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch, either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. Huh. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza to help you, to help Alice. At her statue in the plaza. I'm my own Deus Ex Machina? Hmm. Really? Huh. <laughs> really? Interesting. I don't think this was required. I think I just How happened to stumble on this. To finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. Huh. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Okay. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. I was guided to Oh, oh Jesus I Christ. The shoe box by the statue. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God. They know how to scare me. Okay. Is this her statue? I think, yep, that's Alice. I place it in the shoebox. I wonder if there are different endings or if this is like... It would have told me to do this anyway. Okay, no, I think I had to do this because it said gain entry. I was gonna say. All right. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different. Yeah, I don't think it. Last chance. I don't think it looked like it this wasn't before. Too late. I unapologetically heard gay man entry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is different. God, initiation nine. This should be his last chapter. Nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? Huh. Get to the writer's room, which is through this door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scratch was in there writing his horror story there was still time to stop him i needed to get inside he's typing up a storm in there well you know what mr scratch i can type up a storm too you know i can type up a storm real good i'm gonna write a story where Mr. Scratch never existed, and Alan and Alice live happily ever after, and so does Saga Anderson. How about that? And Casey. Yeah. It's called fan fiction. <laughs> it's called fanon and not canon, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna help. I'm a helper. Uh, who's whispering? Who's whispering? Stop it. There you go. Thank you. 
That's exactly what I typed. I think it's just Mr. Scratch in his room. Yeah, Alice like moved out. Why is it getting louder? I can write up a storm too. Storm, 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 storm. Very good. <laughs> Speaking of fan fiction, I've been slowly working on writing more Majima again. My creative juices have been so drained. Oh man. I totally get that, not being able to do anything creative for a while, but I'm glad that you're back into it. I am happy for you. Anytime you want a beta writer, I think that's what they're called, a proofreader, I'm here. I catch typos all the time. <laughs> I'll do it. Mr. Scratch was a bad writer. So bad. He can't write a good story because he's bad. So bad that he went away. The end. <laughs> you remember will be the first. Yes. <laughs> First dibs. All right, looks like the only thing I can do is interact with this, so let's do it. The dark place, the art of Alice Wake. Oh boy. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. decision most of you won't understand what are you talking about Alice people call me an artist but I don't care about any of that I just wanted to show the world what I see I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Okay. What does that mean, Alice? Alice? What does that mean? What is it me? <gasps> Took her own life shortly after completing her work. She'll be missed, but we'll live on through her art. No! What follows are her final photographs. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, content warning. I don't know what it's going to show right now. No! <gasps> oh, that's so scary and sad and horrible. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. Alice was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. 
He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. No! Was that Mr. Scratch? I had seen this before. Yeah. This was not Scratch. <gasps> This was me. Oh, shit. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. <gasps> I killed her. What? So he was Mr. Scratch the whole time. I did think that. But how sad! Oh. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you're gone. Oh no. Oh no. End of initiation. <gasps> oh, Jesus. So it's just been him the whole time. There wasn't really a Mr. Scratch, but he thought there was. <sighs> you got chills. Yeah, that's... Oh, my God. It was his future self. That is fucked up. Is Alan Scratch or is he being fucked with by the Dark Place? I mean, that was the end of his story, I'm pretty sure. I think that was his last chapter. It's not the end of the game, but... I think what basically has happened is he's stuck in time loops, so he keeps looping back and forth and interacting with himself. And his past self, what we've been watching this whole time, whenever he interacted with himself, he thought it was Mr. Scratch because he was, like, really messed up and uh, evil and mad and uh, had anger problems. So he just assumed, oh, this is some other thing, the Dark Place, who's taken my face. It's Mr. Scratch. But really, it was him the whole time in the future, messing everything up. I don't know. I'm just like, how? why was he haunting Alice and not realizing it? Was he just possessed by the dark place in those moments? You know? He did keep going back to her place, but it never showed her him haunting her. It always showed him seeing the uh, repercussions, basically. But what Alan just said is that he was the one haunting Alice and drove her to do that to herself. It's horrible. Doesn't seem like a promising development, yeah? Yeah. So, I'm now I'm wondering, the Alan that came out of the Dark Place, was that, that must have actually been Alan, but I think at this point, he just got taken over by the Dark Place, right? So I think after realizing, oh my god, I drove her to do that, he kind of just gives up, at least from my perspective, and he lets the Dark Place take him over. He has nothing left to fight for, so I think now he is Mr. Scratch. Alan and Mr. Scratch are the same thing. That was his... I guess we're watching his future self at this point, I think. Props to Christina Cole, the actress who plays Alice. She knocked it out of the park with her monologues. Yeah, incredible acting. I didn't want it to be this way. I was scared of this, yeah. Yeah, I was really hoping Mr. Scratch was a different person, but... A little while back, I think we've all been like... I think Mr. Scratch is the same person as... Helen, you're scaring me. <sighs> Let me catch up here. Oh yeah, because of the way the dark place works, that would have to become true. <laughs> He's a bad writer. Oh god. <laughs> Shine a flashlight on him to find out that yeah. We did find him with light, so I mean at this point, he's Mr. Scratch is Alan Wake possessed by the Dark Place, I think. Is how you can think of it. Alright. Let's keep going. So now we're switching back to Saga. And I think we'll be in chapter 8 with her now. Oh 
Oh. We did bring Wake back from the dark place with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed what? Like Nightingale in the overlap. Oh, I didn't think about that. It really is like a time thing. Hey. Whoa. So she took him right after he got possessed. That's horrible. If she got to Are him a little okay? sooner. No, it's my fault. He got out with oh. my face scratch. That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. Uh-huh. The summoning. So the summoning happened that in the past. Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. Bitch. He's here. Scratch. What oh, shit. Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. Yeah, possessed. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. Hi. Wake up. On it. I know you're Anderson, in there, Wake. It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. <laughs> doesn't have to be this way. Ooh. Ooh. Do I just do this? Is that enough? Oh, point the light rays. What? Oh, shit. Oh, just like the other boss fight with him. Okay. I was going to say, can't be that easy. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Does the shoebox pause time? It does not! <laughs> of course it doesn't pause time. Why would it do that? <laughs> so I just need to hit him hard enough. I don't think this really stops him, huh? Yeah. More gear weight. Oh, thank God. Give me some more stuff. Where is it? Right here? Oh, shit. Then do something! <laughs> I need to hurt him. Oh, here's some stuff. Okay, I can't grab it anyway. Let's just try to hit him as many times as I can. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, do I hold it down or what? Okay, I'll hold it down. Oh, no. I'll get it running. Ready. Make us proud, Saga! Oh, shit. You picked a family to mess with, Devilheart. Saga will crush you. Oh, good. It keeps your progress. Thank God. They're helping with words of encouragement. That's great. Look out, Anderson! Okay! Okay! One more, it's right there. Okay, this isn't too bad. I just have to keep hitting him. <laughs> I think he's fine. Oh, yep, I shouldn't have done it yet. Teach him a lesson! He's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> I realize he slicked his hair back with blood and became evil like Nishki. Yeah, there's parallels here. Okay, that's done. That's done. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I put them in place. Trying to pick up more stuff if I can. Now we. Come on in! I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do yet. Well, he's blocking the exit anyway. Okay. 
<laughs> what do I do now? For the light arrays? I thought I did. They are oh, it's still a little bit left. He got me at the tail end. Ah. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'd only need like a little bit. Okay, sorry. Okay, now I trap him in there. Okay. Is Anderson gonna be okay in there with him? Ooh! <gasps> he broke it. Oh no. I was gonna say, it's like an explosion. I'm glad she's okay. Alan? Oh, get that clicker. I'm sorry. Wait. Is it you? I'm so sorry. Did it work? No. No! Casey! No! 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 Shit, he got it! Casey, no! He possessed someone else, or the presence possessed someone else. Oh shit. Took the clicker. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tear Fist is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. Um, now what? Hello? End of chapter. Okay, so now we're probably in the final chapter, chapter 9. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Oh, no! Now what are we gonna do? They got Casey, man! Way! Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Sorry for all the shotgun shells, Wake. Yeah, sorry I had to shoot you like a hundred times, Mr. Wake. I had to. And he's still alive somehow, but you know, it's because the dark place is possessing him, so I feel like you can't really die, you know? It probably like absorbs the bullets. I don't know. I don't know. Alan was awake the whole time, but at what cost? It's so funny because I was joking, like, the twist is he was awake the whole time, and he kind of was, he just was possessed. And yes, those were the old rocker dudes. They're, uh, Saga's grandpa and... Uncle? Grand uncle? Grunkle? I don't know. Not Sam Lake! <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Now we're jamming out. <gasps> now I'm Alan! Hello? Tom! Oh, here they are. We need to get to our next gig. What? We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. What? Don't They're going in? I'd seen it all play out like a horror. What are they going to do in there? Watch. The dark presence held all the cards now. I guess they're going to go in there to try to fight it. Oh, I hope they're okay. Yeah, the light's a little weird cuz it's yeah, the flashlight. Can we talk to the agent. Where's Saga? Yeah, here's their little band setup. Oh, man. Any items for me? Alan Wake? I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing in this world. Nothing in the world is mine for free. Okay. You're gonna go play Herald of Darkness. Oh, there you go. Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? <laughs> Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how oh, to salvage Oh, she's disappeared? <gasps> is that what the, the Dark Presence did? Uh, what can I do to help? I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. 
never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It drew Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. Oh. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll That's why they went in. With the power of rock and roll. <laughs> I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. Uh-huh. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. Yeah. Yeah, the time loop is messing me up. Huh. Yeah, I saw I saw her get thrown into the water, but I thought she was just like thrown aside, not thrown into the dark place wormhole. Okay. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the dark presence is occupying Agent Casey. When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. Maybe he was its and backup. Now he's the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. Oh. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Nice. Don't fuck it up. I'll try. Yeah, this is just everything that we had in the dark place. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. All right, let's get everything we can. We get goodies too. Anything else? I doubt these ones are going to be for me, but you never know. Yeah. Okay. That is fine. He is absolutely covered in blood. Oh, yeah. Head to toe. Every, every inch of him. <laughs> Just totally covered. I mean, here's the really fucked up thing. Alan has already killed a lot of people as Mr. Scratch. Um... There was that whole scene where... Uh, now, this is where I thought that he might have been Mr. Scratch, actually. It was back when he was being chased by the Dark Presence and all of the cultists came out to try and get the writer because they knew, I think, that he was Mr. Scratch. He was being possessed by the Dark Presence. You know, I think they assumed he was just evil, but really he was possessed. Um, he goes to sleep, wakes up, and he's covered in blood and all the cultists around him are dead. In that moment, I was like, why would Mr. Scratch spare Alan Wake? Unless he is being possessed by Mr. Scratch or something, you know? I was just hopeful that that Alan Wake we were seeing was a different thing and that that was Mr. Scratch separate from him. But really, he was just being possessed by him the whole time. Really, he's Mr. Scratch. He was being possessed by the Dark Place, making him behave like Mr. Scratch. You know what I mean? I'm not describing it very well. <laughs> Basically, he's possessed and that makes him Mr. Scratch. It's like uh, Dr... Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I think that's how it goes. Unless it's the other way. Mr. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> it might be vice versa. Where did Alan's black suit go? Oh my gosh. I like how casually he says, they performed in my musical. Yeah, Jekyll and Hyde. Mm -hmm. He did acknowledge the musical. It happened. It was real. I guess the lake in general is a portal. Yeah, yeah. You could say it's Alan Lake. Oh, well. Or Sam Lake. These are the guns we found washed up on shore because we didn't have anything else. Godspeed. Yeah, yeah, these are just Alan's stuff. All right. Do I need to do quick slots or it's all the same? Okay, cool. I need more than this. I also wish I had more inventory. I don't know how I was supposed to upgrade inventory as Alan. If I could at all. Honestly, I don't remember. I probably missed a lot in the playthrough, but... I'm having fun regardless. Okay, now where do I go? Do I duck? No, I don't think I can go through there. I think we go back up this way. 
There's no yellow paint on the ridge, so how am I supposed to know I can go this way? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I can't. Okay. Where are we going, Alan? There must be another way. Do we go to the dark place? In the water? What's it say? Go to the parking lot. No. A parking lot can be a dark place. How do we get out of here? Do we duck? Oh, we duck right here. My bad. All right. I was awake again. Clear headed awake. for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Oh, it's like the traditional, from me. like the first Alan Wake I knew game. What I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. All right. Oh, it's just like the first game now. Come full circle. Can I look at the map now? No, we don't have a map. Okay. Can't go to anywhere. Gotta keep moving. They're like, you don't need the map. You've played the game long enough. You should know how to get back to the parking lot. I don't. <gasps> ah! Things are growling at me. Oh, shit. Murder. Murder. <laughs> you drop anything for me, buddy? Nothing? Okay. Murder. <laughs> he likes to listen to true crime podcasts, that's all. But he got a little too deep into him. Well, I must be going the right way because people are trying to kill me. Can't go that way. Hello. Jesus, I, I try, I try. I try to dodge. It's not good enough. I think I'm dodging too soon or something. Ooh. All right, they felt like the same way. I only have one left. Oh god. Oh, there's more? They need to drop ammo, man. This is too much. Hey, come on, Alan. Get to that light. Ooh, where do I go? I don't even know which way to go. Okay, hey, let's fight this guy. Oh, come on. Ooh. Gave you ten bullets and said Godspeed. Uh huh. Welcome to the federal government. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, I could have used my flares, but it's all right. I'll save them. I only have four. I wonder if this music playing is from the first game as well. I, I really feel like they're trying to make you feel like the first one. It's just been so long. I, I wouldn't be able to recognize it. I have a feeling. Ooh, is that a box I haven't opened? What was that, Alan? Why'd you freak out like that? I haven't gotten this one yet. Yay, goodies for me! Do we have any ammo? No. What did I get? Handgun, flare, bullets. Okay. Well, I've got a lot of flares now. Any items anywhere else? I don't think I need to look for, like, side stuff anymore. I think it's just story. Just plot. Ooh, I see red light up there. The tower. Got the way to go? Oh, Jesus, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. 
All right. Time for the flare. Oh, don't die, Alan. Come on, we just got here. Okay, time for flare. I'm just gonna keep coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. In the dark Ooh. place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it <sighs> getting stronger. Waking up. Waking. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. Turned me into scratch. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's the explanation right there. It... I feel like it purposely made him haunt Alice. And that way he would lose her and that would tip him over the edge. And so it could really possess him and take control of him fully. So that it could fool everyone and get the clicker from them, you know? I think it all was part of its plan. Poor guy. I feel so bad for Alan. I mean, I feel bad for everybody in this story, but... 13 years. He survived it for 13 years, it seems like. And then finally, poor Alice. Made him. That was his last straw. So we shouldn't have wanted Alan to wake up this whole time. Well, we wanted Alan to wake up, not the Dark Presence. <laughs> Unfortunately, I yeah. I had to get to Bright Falls. Yeah. See this through to the end. All right. I think we're going for the end now. Imagine I beat it in like 30 minutes. Oh, that'd be the shortest stream ever. I feel like Alice was Alan's anchor to reality. Yeah, I mean, that's what he was fighting for all 13 years was to get back I to her. I Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. Yeah. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Hmm. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. So Casey really was a real fault. person? Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. I think Casey was a real person and Alan wrote about a guy named the same thing. And then he kind of got pulled into all this. Is that what he's saying? Scratch had brought the dark place here. This would take me back inside. Oh. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Yeah. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. I'm tearing up. Oh, God. The music. <laughs> Title drop. Look at it. I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. No. Oh. Maybe after this, I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Wow. This is so sad. He spent over a decade escaping, and now he has to go right back in to fix it. Oh my god. Oh? There's his suit. Hmm. Return 8, Deerfest. This is... Not what I expected. Huh. 
My my immediate thought when I saw that it was all bright and colorful and happy is this is the dark place trying to trick Alan into staying here and not solving anything. Because it's like, this will be his dream life right here. And then he's going to have to reject it because it's not real and he needs to fix the reality. I don't know. That That's my theory right now. Just immediately. Uh, we'll have to see where it's going to take us. Everyone's wearing their masks. This it's Deerfest! Oh my god. <laughs> Some strong language. Look at the little... Little duckies. Hello, ma'am. I don't like how you're looking at me. Two dollars. This can't be real life. It's only two dollars. <laughs> That's so cheap! No, I'll know if it's, uh, real life if there's... How are the toilets? Hello? <laughs> Just standing there? Wait, I could push you? Oh, she moved a little. Look at all these little booths. Balloon pop! They popped all the balloons. <laughs> Someone wanted more cursing at that booth, uh-huh. Oh, here's the diner. Oh boy. This week we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high quality white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh. Wake set a high standard with his previous novel, but I can say without his hesitation, brother that contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. In stores now. A perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. Oh my god. How about you? Oh, stop it! You can see, like, a shadow there. There you have it. <laughs> Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. Saddest one yet. Wow. I got a trophy for the Costco Brothers. I wonder if I watched all their videos. Man. Trying so hard not to compliment the writing. Yeah, he's like, the outside is nice. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside oh, these, these ending, two. A perverse version of reality. Yeah. The townspeople brainwashed. Mm -hmm. Everyone and everything revolved around Return. As if it had just been published. For the most memorable ending in literature. Oh, dear fast scene is the ending. Okay. Right. But what is the book about, Irmo? He doesn't want to say. Setting the trilogy's exciting conclusion Alan at Deerfest makes return a genre-bending mixture of fact and fiction. See, like, this would be probably some people's dream is like, oh, the whole world revolves around what I wrote, blah, blah, blah. But it's, like, demented, you know? <laughs> it's demented. Okay, uh, let's see. So, get a copy of Return. I only kind of listened to what Alan was saying because I was also trying to listen to the dialogue of the Throughout other the characters. Stars, humor glows in Wake's pages. Uh, the cult's symbol and name resulting from a mushroom trip is evidence that Wake is winking at the reader. Uh huh. Wanda Vision, but Alan Wake, Alan Wake Vision. Brilliantly dark mind. Brilliantly dark mind. Who are you talking to? 
turn is sold out. Oh yeah, Bright Falls Bookshop. Is it only selling for ten dollars? No wonder it sold out. Oh dear. Uh-huh. Love how they're all slightly frantic about the book reviews. I know they're like, I love it! It's so good! <laughs> Help me. There's this again. The stage fight scene in Departure uh, is one up by sir? the absolutely mind frying. They're from the nursing home. Dark ocean summoning. I mean, some people are this serious about their novels, but <laughs> I don't know about being out in a towel. You already did. God. Yeah, they all sound possessed. Screaming about a spellbinding tour de force at the empty sky. Uh huh. Oh, Koskala? He's just standing there. He's not gonna say anything. Okay. Oh boy. <gasps> Found one. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. That's where they think he lives. The oh God. Six, six Oh, okay, now I'm in it. Oh, boy. I don't have any weapons. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. Is it gonna work? This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer mm -hmm. and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. Oh, it was in the nursing home where that spiral door was, huh? That's what that was. Wow. And we don't have any weapons, huh? Yeah, nothing. All I right. needed to reach the writer's room. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. It's interesting talking about Mr. Scratch like he's a different person, but I... I mean... I do feel like, in a way, he's different because it's not... It's Alan Wake possessed by the Dark Place. He didn't want to hurt Alice. He didn't want to hurt anybody. He was possessed by an evil force, you know? So while it was actually Alan the whole time... <laughs> we had to find another way inside. It wasn't really him, to me, anyway. I'm not even... The jump scares aren't even getting me. I'm just like, you're interrupting my thought process. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, find another way. I say Mr. Scratch is just the entity of the dark place. Yeah, because, like, for instance, right now, Mr. Scratch is gone because now Casey's possessed. So now that's Casey's Mr. Scratch, you know? Can I get in through the basement? No. Sort of a different person, yeah. But I guess what the twist was is that the Mr. Scratch that was haunting Alice was actually wake possessed by the dark place the whole time. So he feels responsible, even though he didn't want to do those things. <gasps> Alice? Huh? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? What was that? Is she helping us? 
Okay, we're going through the medical center. I don't think there's going to be any items for me to get, so I'm not really exploring. I feel like she's guiding us. It was tricking us. It was tricking us. Oh, you're home. We should be one. Oh, no. Why are you going that way? Why did it go that way? I feel like it turned me that way. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Am I safe here? Am I safe? Fuck off! Fuck! I think we should keep going. Oh my god, yeah. I guess we keep going. I was safe in there. I guess it's to catch your breath. Please let me out. Oh my god, is it? What did he say about Alice? We're safe in the light, Alan. For now. Oh my god. But he's very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. Oh. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, what? Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh. I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. <laughs> right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do I, what I can. I like Rose. I do like her. Oh my god, that's funny. So she was helping Alan without realizing that it was all coming from her own head. He wasn't sending messages at all. Oh boy. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Gary. There's a storm outside. Hey, RNG, welcome in. How you doing? A bit overconfident for him to trust his own memory for that. That's true. You have a point with that. His memory hasn't been very reliable lately, but he's like, I didn't leave a message. I don't know. She definitely found a way to help him. So it does make you wonder if somehow she got a message from somebody to help. Accidental helper still a helper, yeah? Oh, hello! Ati, hello. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest power. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Huh? <laughs> okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Huh? It's stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. Can't go in there. <laughs> I try to go in his room. What are you doing? <laughs> that, what a phrase. Shit beating your underpants. <laughs> Medium rare or well done? Really ought to check out these vods. Yeah, um, 
right now they're only on Twitch. I'm working through my my backlog of VODs right now and putting them on YouTube. They should be up on YouTube in the future, but it'll probably take a minute. So if you want to watch them, they're uh, available in my Alan Wake 2 collection of VODs if you'd like to watch them. Not her being so casual about the literal hell demon outside like it's a toddler. <laughs> it's just throwing a little tantrum, but it's fine. I feel like Scratch is just the amplified version of the darkest parts of Alan. They did establish in the first game that he has issues with his temper and complicated feelings about his notoriety. So I think the dark presence just amplified those feelings exponentially. Okay. That, that would also explain why he really, really blames himself for everything because of that. And that makes the most sense for sure. And keep in mind, she was getting instructions like how to dispose of bodies. That's true! That's true! I forgot about that. Oh. Oh my. I was just thinking about how it feels like Mr. Scratch is the embodiment of the tortured artist. Yeah. I think you could have a field day psychoanalyzing the story of this game. Even just this one game, not both of them, but definitely both together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Interesting dialogue. Hey, Zoe, good to see you. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Have you played Control? I haven't, but it's been recommended quite a lot. And I do actually have it. <laughs> I just haven't played it, but I own it. Maybe someday I'll, I'll try playing it. I don't know if I'll stream it. Apparently it's really hard, and I feel like with a difficult game, I don't like to stream it because I get really frustrated, but either way, we'll see. Hey, Toby, welcome in. Yeah, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. It's the first stream of the year. Welcome in. We write an essay about the narrative of this game. Oh, yeah. And I feel like there's symbolism and and things like that that I'm not even picking up on that maybe someone else with a more discerning eye would pick up on. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not pretty good. It's very good. Very good story. I can see why this one best game direction. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. And I, I would even agree with that before I finished the game. I mean, before we got to this point anyway. We haven't finished yet. Yeah, best art direction. Art direction for sure. I was like, wow, like the lighting in this game, the, the artistry of it. It feels like I'm watching a movie sometimes. It's very good. Hey, Katesy, welcome in. You're just in time. We are trying to finish this game tonight. I think I'm pretty close to the ending here. We'll see. Writer's room, new scene. I, was here. I needed to write the ending. Oh boy. I only had one chance to get this right. Did you do anything with I this? An ending that took everything no. already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Alright, all that's there all that's left to do is to write. Oh Toby, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. A light in the darkness. <laughs> this joyful music. Thank you so much for subscribing. You have access to all of our tier one emotes. Sometimes we have sound effects. We don't have them on today just because Alan Wake is a serious game. Don't want to interrupt cutscenes and stuff, but. There we go. I also have a little origami star for you, a paper star. With your username on it, it's backwards because my camera is mirrored, but I promise I wrote it properly and you get to join a bunch of little stars uh, in this chicken-shaped plastic jar. <laughs> so here you go. One of us. You're one of us now, Toby. Welcome in. After watching your YouTube for such a long time, this sub is a no brainer. Oh, thank you, Toby. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching, and thanks for subscribing. I'm a star? Let's go! Yeah! You all are. <laughs> Whether or not you're subscribed, you're a star. Is this the first time it's shown Alan traveling to the writer's room? Um, no, we've been in here before, actually. Um, we've been in here a few times. But I think this is the first time that it's been on the plot board for me to manipulate. That's definitely a first. But no, this was, uh, like Alan's mind palace when we were in the dark place. This is what we would go to in his mind, so. Yeah. Won't let me resub and I don't know why. Oh, I'm sorry, Casey. I'm not sure what's up with that, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> Maybe it'll it'll fix itself later. 
Alan, Alan, write that Koi no Disco Queen is the new national anthem of America, please. <laughs> Not even in English, it's Japanese. <laughs> Make it happen, Alan. I don't know the song, but it's got to be more singable than Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Should have learned that in school. I meant like showing him walking up to it instead of just kind of appearing there. Um, other than cutscenes, I think so. Yeah, usually we're just kind of here. So yeah, it's definitely different. It's very different. And like, I've seen that door, the other side of it with the spiral, like throughout the playthrough, whenever I was in the nursing home, I would see that and be like, what's in there? What's in there? It's also shown up in Alice's house, a lot of different places. There'd be a door with a spiral the whole time. That was the door to the writer's room, but we couldn't access it until now. Alan Wake deserved all the awards they got. This game is a work of art, and you can hear the passion they put into this game while listening to Sam Lake accepting the awards. Oh, yeah, yeah, very well deserved. I, I hadn't even finished the game at the time of the awards, and I was happy for Alan Wake winning a bunch of stuff, because even just playing through half the game, you can recognize that for sure. And especially now that I'm at the, almost at the end, uh, narrative, yeah, I totally get that too. Oh, yeah, sorry, I missed a message from earlier, didn't I? Uh, have a great with Remedy for making this digital only. If Remedy fixes that mistake and makes this game physical on PS5, I will play it. I get that. I get that. Uh, there's a lot of people that really, really love physical copies and only want physical copies for the collection and stuff like that, and I completely understand it. Um, I think the reason they didn't do it was because of a budgeting thing. I think that's what it came down to. I'm not 100% sure. Don't take my word on it. That's just kind of what I remember hearing about at the time. But I know a lot of people were upset about it and had like mixed feelings, so I totally understand. I, I'm personally, I'm a digital person. I, for the last few years, have mostly been getting my games digital because I even got a digital PS5. <laughs> uh, so I'm just different, but I do recognize that it, it's upsetting for a lot of people. So I still hear that. I hear that. Porting things to console is very expensive. Yeah. I think it was a budgeting thing, so it's uh, it's very unfortunate. But I, I think that's what it came down to. All right, we are going to continue. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. Mm -hmm. a perfect An epilogue. <laughs> would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. So get to typing, man! <laughs> my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. God. Something stirred in the room. Uh, coming to me. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 an echo. I was gonna be like, Scratch is here. It's too late. We're all gonna die. <laughs> oh. I've refused to support digital media. Uh, PlayStation at any moment has the ability to lock you out of the games you buy. I think it's a negative for the future, but I'm a nerd and I'm picky, so it could just be me. No, I, I hear that all the time. Like, uh, digital only games are kind of dangerous for archival purposes. So I, I definitely hear that argument. Um, the reason I do digital personally is just like, it's easier for me to get it. It's quicker, etc. But I do, you know, think that we need to be able to archive games and the idea of a company being able to take away your games is not very fun sounding. So I do hear that. Uh, they said they wanted to keep the price at 50 on PC and 60 on console and printing physical would have raised the cost. Yeah, so that that too, it makes it cheaper on our end for them not to have a physical copy. But, you know, I honestly, I hear both sides of this argument. I hear the sides of archivists and people who like collecting and I hear the people who you know talk about the reasons they did it like you know to lessen costs and stuff like that so it's definitely like a controversial thing I do I do see that and uh again I hear both sides of it two things can be right yeah yeah absolutely the ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work in a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. 
They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Hmm. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. Okay. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. Oh, God. And the hero must pay the price. The oh, scales Alan. always need to balance. <gasps> hey, the price, new plot element. I know you guys can't see it behind my camera, but... Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since that phone call with himself in the future where he's like, you're gonna escape the dark place, but not really. I was like, oh, what is that gonna do? What's he gonna, what does that mean? I have a really bad feeling. I have a really bad feeling. Oh, oh Alan. <sighs> Jesus Christ, okay. Pay the price. <laughs> the dark horror ending. To save them all, the hero must pay the price. And you know, like, with a horror story, it doesn't always have to have a dark ending. There are horror stories that have a happy ending, but all the horror is in, like, the middle of the story, you know? And then they make it out. But there are a lot of stories that only one person survives, or everyone dies, or, oh, the protagonist was the bad guy the whole time, you know? Admittedly, those are the more interesting stories, but... Oh, man. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. Mm -hmm. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We finale. still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. Oh, boy. <gasps> we're gonna play a saga. End of chapter. End of chapter nine for Alan. Just keeps going. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be Saga now. So now it forces you to go back and forth. Before this point, you could swap back and forth whenever you felt like it, but now I think narrative-wise, you have to play it this way. So we're picking right up where that happened. Whoa. Yeah, someone got the clicker, right? I saw a hand grabbing it. Her mind palace. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mind place. Yeah, the mind place. I call it the mind palace. <laughs> It's going so fast. I know, yeah. That's why I think we're going to finish it today. We have to. This is going pretty quickly, you know. <sighs> we don't get to hear all of the blubba dubba dubba dubba. I'm sorry, yeah. Man. We got to we got to fin finish this game. Got to move on. I love her sweater. You know, I think they actually shared a pattern. Either a fan made a pattern or the official Alan Wake Twitter sh uh, like made it and shared it. Um so you can make your own Saga Anderson reindeer sweater. You can make it, but it's a knit pattern, not crochet, which crochet is what Ruvo knows how to do, so. That's why she's connected to deer, maybe. It's all in the sweater. Jazz has got to make it. Jazz is going to make it? Like, has plans? Or you're saying Jazz should do it? Either way, yes. <laughs> the sweater is so cute. I would wear this, absolutely. For sure. If I saw this in a store, I'd buy it. Mm-hmm. she presumably knitted it herself yeah did she make it herself or did her mom make it in the story I actually don't remember I thought someone else made it for her like her mom or something 
I could be wrong. I've been needing a new hobby. <laughs> Get into knitting in 2024. Oh, that's her 2024 goal. Awesome! Jazz definitely needs to make it. That'd be so fun. So Jazz knits or wants to learn how to knit and then make the sweater. How extensive is this goal? <laughs> now, uh, Rubo knows how to crochet and is amazing at uh, Amigurumi, which is where you make like plushies with it. So like, for instance, I've got Boon Chun. Uh, Rubo made this for me. Uh, but Rubo hasn't tried to make clothes yet, other than scarves, which is, you know, just a rectangle. But, uh, I think Rubo should get into sweater crochet. I think that'd be amazing. Oh, Rubo also made, uh, I'm sorry, the one thing that they've made that's, like, clothes is this, like, little cloak. It's tied to my chair right now, but it's kind of like a little cloak that has wings. And these are the feathers. And it's very, very cute. They have made shawls. Next thing is sweaters with sleeves. She told Iramon near the beginning of the game that her mom knitted the sweater for her. That's what I thought. Okay, so her mom made it for her, which is very sweet. All right, I guess let's look around. It's yeah, all gone. it's gone. I thought so. What the wow. Hell is happening? Because we're in the dark place. That was your mind palace in the real world. Where is everything? Wow, all the pages are gone. Nothing's working. I can't think straight. Wow. Can't even upgrade my weapons, I bet. I can't sense anyone. Is there... Where is the other thing? I don't remember where the weapons upgrading is. I thought it was over here. Maybe we can try to leave. That's all there is. Tiny pumpkin! Tiny pumpkin! At least in the dark place, they still have tiny pumpkins. Another tiny pumpkin! They got more than one tiny pumpkin. Not the I'm a beer commercial! It's gone! It's gone! Next step is sweaters. Next, next step is fiber art in a gallery. <laughs> Amazing! I would love that, Rubo. I want that for you. There's a way cozier place than Alan's dinky little shack in the dark place, so it could be worse. Yeah, this is her writing room, I guess. I can't leave. Yep, can't leave. Why can't I leave? Mm-hmm. Uh, case board. Wow. We have to- it's a locked room, uh... Puzzle? Mystery. Locked room mystery. The dark presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. Mm -hmm. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? Huh. My mind feels foggy. Why am I in the mind what? place? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happening to the case board? It's possessed. This is the dark place. I'm in danger. I have to get out of here. Scratch took the clicker. Scratch threw me into Cauldron Lake. Other saga. Uh, I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. I'm in the dark place. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm lost. How do I leave? I don't know how to get out. You failed them. I don't know them. what to do. Find evidence. Oh, boy. Well, just like with Alan, right? The dark place probably enhances all her negative traits, so this is probably her fear coming out. And her maybe insecurities, everything. The failed them. Says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? Hmm. This isn't me. Again, I feel like that's like the other saga. That is the saga that has all of her bad traits amplified. She doesn't actually believe it. Yeah, her scratch, so to say. Yep. Her, her Mrs. Scratch. <laughs> Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. 
I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He beaded me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Mm, boy. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. Just doing your job. And how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I was covering it. There's a picture of her. Is she here? Oh, I covered it. There was a picture of her daughter. It was very sweet. I'm sorry. It popped up right behind me. Something's very fucking wrong here. Maybe it'll be on the case board. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Look. Oh, my God. I am a terrible mother. Wow. I let my daughter die. She's dead because of you. Jesus Christ. But there's like little things. I remember sinking, but that doesn't explain why I'm in the mine place. Dark presence took Casey. Casey is scratched now and he has the clicker. Yep. Partner failed them. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. Your fault he got hurt. You were a terrible partner. Jeez. Yourself. I'm a failure. Wow. This is what I deserve. You fucked everything up, man. Terrible detective, you've lost your mind. Okay, we can profile. Scratch. Can't do that. He's using Casey now. Like he used Wake. Mm -hmm. Ew! Oh, that was scary. Hold on a second. Ew! That's terrifying. I couldn't protect Casey from Scratch. Jesus. Uh, yeah. What's happening? Casey is gone and it's your fault. Jesus. That was scary. Yeah, scary face. Oh. The game is going speedy and interesting, but I gotta go. It's past one already. Have fun with the psychological dread. <laughs> Good night. Happy first stream of the year. Yeah, thanks so much for making it, Archer. Uh, I hope you have a great night, and I hope you don't dream of this game because it's scary right now, but I hope you have good dreams, and uh, we'll see you later. We'll see you next time. You went Joker mode. <laughs> yeah, the game's doing it. You don't, you don't need to do more cursing. The game's already doing it. <laughs> the horror story. The story. My life, my family is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, <laughs> how I get to do it. I mean... <laughs> he took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. Another sweet picture of her. Oh. On the case board it goes. She's not dead. God damn it. You're the only one who won't accept she's dead. Oh my god. <gasps> You're the only one who won't accept she's dead. I don't know what that one says. Oh my god. Yeah, here we go. What makes more sense? Everyone is wrong? Or are you? If you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. It keeps getting darker and darker. She died alone and scared, begging you for help, and you weren't there. Oh my god! <gasps> As the water filled her lungs, she realized you weren't coming. And you even still call yourself a mother after you let your only child die? I hate having no, to say this out loud! I'm done with this! You're it just keeps coming back! You're blaming a horror story. Instead of yourself, you coward. Admit she's dead and you killed her. You killed her. You killed her. Oh my god. And look at the transition of getting darker. And then the scary face. Oh no. Shit's getting very real. Okay. What is that? I can pet the deer. Pet the deer for comfort. This case. 
this room is any of it even real what this has all been a hallucination casey was hurt i should have been watching his back oh yeah there's more evidence around the area okay i am not okay i don't know if any of us are okay right now i think this is all scratch's writing trying to change her yeah i think it's it's trying to manipulate her into actually believing this stuff whoa like that right there i think is just the dark presence it's trying to hurt her mentally and break her down casey was being corrupted and i did nothing i think i've seen this already subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events concussion similar symptoms oh wow yeah so it's a little different because there's writing from the dark place right here similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals exposure to the shadows suspected but not confirmed you knew he was hurt you knew the dark presence did something to him you didn't care you only pretended to care when it was convenient and the second he became a liability you let scratch have him and that's not true scratch was wake how could i miss that? another creepy picture um okay so again i've read this before this was evidence earlier on in the game so i'll just read a little bit there's a force here you don't understand a presence it's after me it wants to consume me consume everything yes you mentioned this dark presence before there were so many hints how did you miss this wake was scratch it was right under your nose wake was scratch scratch was wake scratch scratch wake scratch wake scratch wake uh Oh my god. It's playing Night Springs. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. Took Logan away from her father, says the evidence. We'll, we'll look at it in a second, though. Y'all will see it. Last time they were printed documents, and now they're handwritten. The left one? Oh yeah, I don't remember. It keeps trying to scare me, but I'm <laughs> I'm not really getting scared. It's very very creepy. This part is very creepy. We gotta scratch Alan's back. <laughs> you heard him, folks. Okay, so we gotta go to the case board. Okay, now what? Okay, took Logan away from her father. Terrible mom. Yeah. What is this? He took her from David and stuck her in a backwater shithole. Wake was scratch all along and I had no idea. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Oh, wow. I ignore the fact that the dark presence was affecting Casey. This isn't. You should never what? have brought him to Cauldron Lake right to scratch. Casey was injured because I left him behind. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, mm -hmm. my insecurities. Exactly what I said. Yep. This has all been a hallucination. I don't know. That's not... No. Shadow monsters? False realities? Magical writers? Really? I mean, it happened. Okay, looks like we gotta find some more stuff. Keep looking. Yeah, there's more over here. I never should have trusted these. The manuscript pages. I spent too much time away from Logan. And I don't think that's the case. Oh, that was not there a second ago, was it? Oh, it's all her daughter. Logan. The horror story used her. I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. I mean, even with that, it's like, aren't you both fully capable FBI agents? You didn't have a reason to not to uh, to bring him along necessarily. You thought he was capable of handling himself. Casey, Mom. Oh God. Help. Nope. 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 Yeah, that's not her. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. It's interesting that every time I look at the case board, new stuff pops up behind me and I don't even notice. Oh, God. Oh, it was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. Okay. Anything else before I go back in? I think that was it. 
Okay, we've got Ilmo and Yako. We're running a cult right under my nose. What's happening to me? What kind of detective are you? They were right in front of you. Casey was wrong to put his trust in me. You fucked this case up so badly that the FBC took over. I abandoned my partner to investigate on my own. What? No. You were so eager to be in charge that you left him behind. Uh, Logan's death broke something inside of me. I hate this, but it's all true. Um, I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. Just because you think it doesn't make but it I true. Can't them anymore. I'm drowning. That's the case for a lot I of insecurities. A before I'm dragged under. A way out. Logan was alone. God damn it! She spent every day by herself in that trailer. Oh my god. But that's part of the story. She never came back here in real life. I used manuscript pages as a crutch instead of doing my job. No, no, no! The pages were your excuse for always being one step behind. All right, more profiling, a way out. No, there has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh God, none of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full on psychotic break. No, FBC was real. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in water. No, that's part of the story. Mm-mm. It's not true. There has to be a way out. The book is trying to make it true, but it's not true. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is mm -mm. lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. With a different perspective. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. Oh. Oh. Good dear. Good I'm dear. I'm not going anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Okay. Ooh. The lights. No. Oh shit. No. I'm not giving up. Getting Focus. frustrated at her. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Okay. Hello? Um, flashlight? Oh, okay. Flashlight! Hello? What's happening? Oh. No! The tiny pumpkin! It's betrayed me! <laughs> oh no! Now it's my dark place! <laughs> my tiny pumpkin! I don't know what that does. Should I do that first? Oh, it's happening. Oh, to a lot of things. Okay, so it's just revealing evidence. Uh, my other baby pumpkin! No! <laughs> I like how they were both right on the tiny pumpkin. Like, come on. Oh my gosh. Top 10 Allen Lake betrayals. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> yeah, the reindeer emote is perfect for this game. It truly is. I guess let's grab hey, these. Hey. Saga. Just calling to say thanks for your note. From mom. Sometimes I just get in my head, too, in my head much. too much. So, so thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, mom. Really. Okay. Oh. Talk soon. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. That will teach her so much. There will be times just like this when you question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love you always, mom. Oh. Next to the tiny pumpkin. Deduction available, okay. Anderson, uh, look, look. After Brand left, it was, uh, well, well, 
I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragging, dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family. Aww. So you were a great partner to him. Not a lot. Thank you. FBI partner. So she's remembering good things. Yeah, let's get everything we can first. Oh. Oh. I saw this online and it made me think of you. Not the worst, Mom. Okay, what are you doing? Don't make a big deal out of it, Mom. No hugs, no hugs. Oh, another thing. Stop blaming yourself, Anderson. A knife in the arm is just, just mm. part of the job. If you're gonna keep fussing, you can get the hell out. But leave the whiskey. Whiskey. Even when all is lost, there is tiny pumpkin. The one true pumpkin. Darkness is taking away your happiness. <laughs> my pumpkins. Wish a flashlight could get rid of all my bad thoughts. Well, well, it was that easy. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. Whoa, full of stuff. No, I'm not reading anymore. What? I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. Aww. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. Logan made matching charm bracelets for us before I left. Yeah, see, she never came back to Washington. When your mom took you out of Washington, you never moved back here. My badge. Never should have taken this case. Well... I don't think you really had a choice because the story pulled you in. I think that was all of it. Always put work first. So these are some of the bad memories. So actually, the dark place, when those things pop up, that's the dark place trying to prevent her from seeing a good thing. And that's why you have to take it out with the flashlight. That makes sense. That goes there. Shit! <laughs> you were never home. There was always more work, more cases. You told yourself it was important. And then here's a good one. Logan made matching charm bracelets, bracelets for us before I left. So where does this go? Under this one? Like, to disprove it? Or... no, okay. Hmm... Oh, under this one. Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. There you go. So there's gonna be one that disproves it. She's she not dead. dead. No. I didn't save her. What the fuck? My daughter isn't dead, and I won't let some bullshit story convince me that I let her die. Manuscript pages can't change reality. Story is delusion you invented to hide from the truth. Nope. The dark presence took advantage of Casey's injury. God damn it! You knew he was injured. Why the hell did you take him to Cauldron Lake? Bottle of whiskey I gave Casey when he was in the hospital. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. Mm-hmm. I wish- Oh! Fault. It is! It is! Mm-mm. I wish I'd been there for Casey, but I know he wouldn't want me to blame myself for this. We can't control every outcome. He taught me that. And then the mug Logan gave me for the mom. Oops. It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. Mm-hmm. There we go. Thought it was glitching. I might not be the perfect mom, but I've done my best. Logan loves me, and I love her. Photo of Casey at Logan's birthday. Where would that go? Oh, here. Casey trusts me. I know he does. I'll just let him down again. 
I might not always be the best partner, but Casey trusted me. He wouldn't give up, and neither will I. Casey's still in there. I'm sure of it. A reassuring note from my mom. No. This is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. I haven't lost it, at least not yet. This is all real. This place wants me to doubt myself, but I can't. I still have work to do. Did mom know something like this would happen? That I would need to hear these words again someday? Casey has never blamed me when things go sideways. It's all part of the job. Casey isn't just a partner, he's family. She wanted us to stay connected. God, I love that kid. I've brought I've brought this mug with me on every case. I go where work takes me, but I never forget where home is. Yeah. And then we have that one for detective. So there's one more somewhere. Yeah, one more to get rid of, but not sure it's spawn. Yeah, let's look around. I think it spawns when I get close, so. Everywhere. <laughs> that one picture of Casey looking straight forward kind of looks like the one meme with a guy holding an energy drink with the caption kill. <laughs> it's so specific. Where is it? I would hear it. There's nothing in here right now. Um, is there anything to profile about? I can't even profile right now. Huh. Yeah, I need one more right here. The manuscript? Oh, see, there we go. It hadn't spawned yet for some reason. I am honored by this award. Thank you. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. Oh, a light came on. The lights came on. Certificate of Meritorious Achievement to Agent Saga Anderson. Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Meru. Alright, lights are back on. At least some of them. No, yeah, I've seen I've seen that one. I've seen that meme. Okay, let's put it there. The commend commendation I received from the FBI. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. Hey, if I were a bad detective, I'd probably be dead by now. Blaming myself for past mistakes won't solve this case. Casey gave me no end of shit for that speech. Okay. I'm so close. The dark place wants me to hate myself. Mm hmm But I just need to get inside my own head. Let's do it. I am leaving. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. Exactly. It will hurt. But I will fight. All right. I can leave by overcoming my doubts and fears. The dark place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Case closed. We did it. Looks like I can actually do that. The Dark Place tried to weaponize my anxieties against me. I won't let it turn me into a Taken. I'm stronger than that, and Logan needs me. Ow. All of it is back, baby! We're back in business! All right. Oh, still for later. Dang, we still got stuff for later at this point? Okay. Uh, Nightingale was already taken. Oh, boy, where does that go? We could probably just skedaddle, but, you know... Yeah, I don't think we need to do this right now, huh? 
What else was there? The story. Yep, yep, yep. Cold stashes. I can put these real quick. Uh, Cauldron Lake. Should have done these earlier, but I forgot. Got the nursery rhymes. Oh boy, we got a lot of these. We did all these, I think, last time? Or at least last week. Press X to overcome your doubts and fears. Exactly. Just the press of a button. Just a spoonful of sugar. That goes there. So I'm definitely not going to get 100% completion, but I, I think I did a lot. I tried. I'm hoping for maybe 80 to 90%. I don't know. Oh, the author. Oh, do, 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 do. Yep. Okay, and then, uh... The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Mm-hmm. And that always goes well. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah, the lunchboxes. What did it say? Cauldron Lake. Okay. But up here. Hell yeah, bitch, you do the thing. What do we do? I'm beating the game! That's what I'm doing! That should be. Hopefully. That looks like I missed one. And I think I'll leave it there. Yeah, we don't have to do all of it. Uh, some of the side case clues are, I think, New Game Plus only. Oh, interesting! Okay. I can't feel too bad about not getting everything. I only have 11. I don't even know if that's enough for anything. I think we gotta save more. Well, I think at this at, at this point, I don't think we get any more, but, you know. Casey's favorite brand. Tastes terrible. My first ever prank on Casey. <laughs> A true classic. Oh my god. I guess let's go through everything just to get it out of the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I didn't listen to all the pages, but it's all right. Okay, yeah, we're done with that. All right, let's get out of here. Well, I guess first I might want to take a break. Remaining. Four remaining? Ah, I missed four deer! Four remaining. Miss you, kiddo. Oh. I'll be home soon. All right. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. <laughs> I just think about Sam Lake taking that picture. It's so funny. No, the deer. I know. I missed four of the deer. I really thought I was doing good with the deer, but I... Four remaining. <laughs> so menacing. All right. Since we're about halfway through the stream, at least, you know, if I finish this in the next couple hours. So I'm going to keep streaming until we finish it. I think I can finish it today. I don't think there's too much left. But either way, I'm going to take a break here. And... Uh... I will be back in about five minutes. When I return, of course, we'll get right back to it. We'll get back to the story and should be finishing. We'll be trying to finish it anyway. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Water is super important, even if it's cold outside. Oh, of course, yes. I've got my Owala, <laughs> not sponsored, <laughs> water bottle. I'll probably go refill that as well while I'm on my break. But yeah, I'll be back in about five minutes or so. I will return in about five minutes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> BRB. All right, I'm back. Howdy, howdy. All right, we're gonna head out now. Oh, into the darkness. Oh. Now we're in the upside down. <laughs> Saga, wake up. So now we're in the plaza. It looks different for us. It's not. Oh, it is raining. Return nine. Come home. Okay. I think this is the last chapter. The payphone. I think. 
Somehow I knew the call was for me. I only have a handgun, but at least I have something. The fact that I have a weapon means I'm gonna have to fight, so there's that. They have to answer the phone. I love this lighting, actually. I, I, I'm sure it's meant to be creepy, kind of like Silent Hill because of all the fog, but it's also very pretty. It's like early morning fog. Hello? It's me again. You need to go to the statue of Parliament Tower Plaza. To make your ending come true, you will need what's inside the shoebox there. Oh. <gasps> oh. The ending? A shoebox? Who is this? And she said again. This was our first time talking to her. She's in a loop too! I just hope she's not stuck, you know? There's some humming happening again. We've heard that before. Can I find the source of the humming? It's like a siren trying to steer me away. Huh? Agent Anderson. Oh. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named... Almost Warren forgot about Thor. him. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I wonder if time moves differently here? Like, slower? Because in real life, he's only been gone for, say... Oh, I don't know how long the game has been going, but maybe like a few weeks? Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. This whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected mm -hmm. to all of this. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like there were many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. Describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but no luck. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Huh. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Hmm. Warland Dor walked across the rain-slicked tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. Hmm. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Okay. We can also do profiling. Poor guy stuck here too. Yep. He's been stuck here since pretty much the beginning of the game. It's only been like two days? Oh my god, it's felt like a few weeks. I guess so. Alan met Saga out of order, so you definitely can't trust the flow of time. I don't know. I've seen speculation that Tim will be playable in one of the DLC. Ooh, there's gonna be DLC? Interesting. Oh yeah. Well, there's New Game Plus. I knew about that. Um, I didn't know there's gonna be other DLC too. You found some guy. No, we know we know him. Or I know him. <laughs> He's from earlier in the game. At first I thought it was a bug busting. I didn't realize the humming would be him. I I had no idea. Looks like my backyard last week. Oh no. Alright. So we can't just get to Oh yeah, we don't have a map, huh? Well, we can do profiling. Let's do that. 
There's two DLC coming this year, Night Springs and the Lake House. I had not heard of that. Maybe I will play them. I have a lot. Whoa, yeah, we got everything back now. I have a lot of games I have to play this year that a lot of them are really long playthroughs, so I don't know actually <laughs> if I'll get to the DLC, but we'll see. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. Okay, that Riddler. Door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. <laughs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. Or I can look into it right now. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities, here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Okay. We're not going to do more of the case board right now. Okay. Now we don't have a map for the dark place, so I'm just going to have to go based off memory. So we got to go find Parliament Plaza to get to the photos near the statue. Pretty sure Parliament Plaza would be back that way, actually, to the right, maybe? Oh, that's why I need a map. This is Parliament. Oh, okay. And where's the statue? Well, there's a light here. Oh, okay. See, it says get to Parliament Tower Plaza, so I wasn't really there. I thought that was it too, but it says to keep going. Oh. I did not have a good time last time in the, the subway. Last time I was here. That's funny, the, the doors that Alan opened are still open. I did not enjoy this area. What's a door when it's not a door? A jar. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And then I can't move lights. What does this it. do? I need to get up to the street and find that statue. You let me go. Oh, no. You pushed me. Enough already. Oh, God. Sorry, that was Caldera Street. Well, yeah. Here we go. Just get over there. Box. The clicker <gasps> and some kind of bullet. Mm -hmm. Shining with light. That's been referenced How did the before. Get here from Washington. Oh, it's Alice's hands. <gasps> I think Alice is helping us. Oh God. Okay, escape the dark place. Where? Oh God. What? What? Oh, oh, they're fighting me. Okay. Escape the dark place. Well, what do I do exactly? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, not that way. Okay, I don't even know where I'm going now. Oh god, don't die while I'm lost. I can't see anything. Jesus Christ, okay, I could have died just now, just not knowing where to go. There's a light over here. Maybe I need to go back to the, through the subway? Let me just stand here for a second. Okay. Okay, escape the dark place. Um, well, I guess we'll go back in the subway, see what happens. Do these have items for me? Oh, they do. I didn't notice. I think I hear stuff. Not sure. Oh, yes. 
Okay, let's do a quick slot on that because I didn't before. I haven't been using my crossbow. Just replace the flare. I had so much stuff. I had charms. I got nothing now. Oh, that's low. Yeah, I hear whispers. I think this is the right way because there's all these enemies here. Oh shit. Just run, just run, just oh oh I thought it was locked. I thought it was locked. Okay. I only have this. I should use it. I should use it. I had almost no health. Okay. Yeah, answer the phone. Okay, this is the right thing. Like, we got the stuff, but now what? Yes? Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? I don't think that's Saga. Important. Is it Alice? Alice lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Oh boy. I think that's Alice. She said, you don't know me. Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. Huh? She ran out of minutes. <laughs> All right. Help Wake finish the story from the mind place. All these profiles. Scratch looks just like Wake. Oh no, this is the wrong one. My bad. Here we go. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga. What is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas. Inspiration. But they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. Huh. So there's a problem with the ending? the ending it has to be perfect but i don't have time to figure it out i don't know what to do fuck <laughs> i'm so sorry this whole thing is a fucking mess <laughs> i agree but we can still figure this out and what exactly does perfect mean the elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts to make matters worse this is a horror story Mm hmm You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. Whoa. Okay, pre-existing parts. So the ending has to be earned. Set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. Oh my god. Okay, Logan and Casey must survive. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. We saw part of this conversation problems. earlier. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. Hmm. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. But he really was I real. I that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. That's so interesting. I always thought Alex Casey was meant to just be a fictional person, but I guess Alan Wake 
before all of this mess happened, like, knew of this detective and then twisted him into his main character? So weird. And there's always that thing of like, oh, the characters in this story are fictional, not based on real people. Well, <laughs> Alan broke the rule, I guess. How oh, I see the ending. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Ooh. Return is a story about a story that comes true. Mm -hmm. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character, the hero. Oh yeah, she's the hero. Okay, a hero. In any case, I've been through hell to be here, and this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes, that's what we're doing here now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This is not your ending. From what I remember... Uh, he mentioned having dreams that inspired his earlier writing. Oh. So it could be it was all kind of like influenced by supernatural forces somehow and made to happen this way. Yeah. Yeah. Ellen's books didn't have that disclaimer. I guess not. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. Mm -hmm. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. <laughs> Look at all of these. My gosh, the price must be paid. I'm so scared of what this means. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. No. One of the heroes. One of them. The scales mm. always need to balance. Fuck it. Let's mm. go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. All right. Wow. Okay. Enter the fountain. What's this? Deep breath, Saga. End of the road. Okay, chapter 10 is done. Whoa. Alan? She made it. Saga. I finished it. The ending we talked about. Oh my god. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into Casey. the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Casey? The end. No, oh, Casey. Flash I think it's getting out of him. Reveals the hidden horror. And in that moment of silence, the whispered message finally heard. Come on, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on. What if there's nothing waiting to oh. be revealed? The play of shadows fool us all, subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. Aww. None of the wiser. No answers, no truths. 
the hero turns to look inside. Is he gonna kill him? Is destroyed by what he sees and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. Mm. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing was sleep. Mm -hmm. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place? Another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning. The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting. Mm -hmm. To know nothing when we loop around, back to the... Mm -hmm. Alan dead. The way his narration just cut off. Whoa. Oh no, she's calling. I thought Logan was calling her. Is it over? Aren't they still in the dark place? No. Don't end like that. The story came true. But the story come true. They just ended like that? They just end it like that? No. There has to be there has to be a scene. We'll wait. We'll wait. No. Oh, sorry, sorry. I put the controller down. <laughs> oh. Oh, you guys couldn't see it. I almost like skipped the credits. I'm like, no, no. Maybe that's why there's DLC. No, there has to be. There has to be something at the uh, at the end. Sam Lake. There he is. Alan asleep forever. Alan deceased. No. <laughs> Man. If that's all that we get, I'll, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. I mean, a cliffhanger of sorts is very remedy at least from the two alan wake games that i played i think that would be fitting for what they usually do but it's gonna upset me because i mean here's the thing they did that but they're still in the dark place that room that alan was in was not reality right i'm trying to remember the order of events he so alan goes to the dark place so he sees the deer fest town that's all Obsessed with the book. He grabs the book, runs off. I forget how he got to the building. I think he just, like, walked there. And that was still in the dark place. It's the nursing home attic. Was that in reality? I don't remember. Alan Wake 3, the man who never woke up. Oh my god. Like a dragon, Alan Wake. <laughs> so what is the next book about yet? It was the real world altered by the clicker. So that was, oh, okay. So that was real. So that means that Saga went to the real world, but then Alan was worried that he was still in the dark place. So he was confused. Like an Alan. I don't make three Saga. I don't feel so good. Oh my God. Also, this song is very pretty. <sighs> if that, if that's it, what a story. And if they were in reality, then that kind of changes things because it just is kind of like they are in real life and the story worked, but, but she didn't get that answer from Logan. You're just kind of left wondering, did Logan pick up? Did it work? Is everyone okay? I mean, if, if not Anderson, if uh, Casey was okay, Logan should also be okay. So I'm just going to hope that that's what happened. But man... Uh, his last line leads into his first line from the start of the game. Oh, wow. I didn't pick up on that at all. I'm a changed man. I feel like how I do after leaving a movie theater after a three-hour life-altering movie. Yeah, yeah. It's... What a wild game. You know, and it, it's funny. I liked the first Alan Wake game. I thought it was great. I had a good time. But it was also a, like, remaster or remake of an old game, right? From 2010. So... It was it was okay. It was good, but not like, oh my god, life changing. This, however, <laughs> was such a great game. It had a wonderful story. I loved the characters. I really got attached to, you know, of course, Alan from the first game. 
uh, Anderson and Casey and, you know, all the townsfolk and stuff. And it really makes you root for them and, and want everything to be okay. Like, I just want Logan to be okay so Saga can have her daughter and her family back, you know? I loved, uh, I, I didn't even see everything, you know? There was a lot I missed. I didn't get all the lunch boxes, all of the uh, upgrades, stuff like that. You know, I think a 100% playthrough of this would be really fun. Um, I wouldn't stream it, but just in general, I think that's a fun thing to do. Oh, here's something, here's something. Everyone, shut up. <laughs> here's Alice. This part is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened. Oh, the FEC? I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. Oh. I remembered being trapped inside that lake. That dark ocean with with echoes of myself. My 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 fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. Oh, Alan. She's talking to Alan. And you're still there, reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there, too. I chose to come back to the dark place. <gasps> That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you. Mm -hmm. So that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension. Light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. <laughs> and we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see. The light you need to see. Until you're ready. Mm. Ellen. I think we're getting close. <gasps> oh, oh, there's more. There's more. It's not a loop. Huh? It's a spiral. It's a spiral. They said that before. Okay. The real credits. <laughs> Those were fake credits. <laughs> There's more credits. Man. Oh. I was wondering, like, she never remembered what happened at all? She knew. And she went back in for him. True love exists. True love is real. Oh. That then leads into the final draft. The final draft being the story that fixed everything in the end. Oh my god. But then that scene just now was like after the ending, him like waking back up. So Alan is not dead. The pictures of her jumping or her actually jumping into the lake? I think so, because she said she had to mislead him. Oh, it's the new game plus. Oh, okay. Man. Oh my god. It just never ends. <laughs> oh. Does New Game Plus have a different ending? Is that is that spoilery to say? It might be spoilery, I guess. I don't know. I'm replay. No, I don't have time for that. I don't have time. That's a thing. I won't be able to do it. That's all like, is it? I'm going to look it up on YouTube or something. I got to know what other what other parts of the story I'm going to be missing by not playing more. Don't know the ending yet. Okay. It probably is spoilery. But you're basically replaying through the whole game again, so... I, I don't usually like to do that. I'll probably look it up if there's anything different about it, but man... But yeah, I'm... I was so upset when it showed her jumping. I was like, that is so, like, creepy and horrible. I'm so upset. Supposed to be new content and cutscenes. Dang! Okay. I mean, it's definitely worth it then to do New Game Plus, but um, I will probably be watching someone else play it. So I just, I simply don't have the time. I gotta finish Gaiden now, and 
Uh, but what a great story. I definitely want to see it. I want to see it. I'm just not going to play it myself. I can't. Oh my god. Let's see. Let me catch up with chat here. I thought it was implied Logan called Saga at the end. No, no, she was calling Logan. Cause it, I, I, at first I thought, oh, is Logan calling her? But she, it was ringing and ringing and ringing and never answered. So she was calling Logan. Yeah. It's like a cliffhanger if she ever picks up, which at this point now I'm like, okay, she's probably fine and alive. It just wanted to give us a little like, oh, we're not going to tell you for sure. <laughs> but it's a good story. You know, it's a good way to, to end it, I guess. I feel better getting those clips at the end. Man, you didn't get all the deer for Deer Rome, I know. <laughs> That's what New Game Plus would be for. First game also had a pretty famously turbulent development and changed a lot over the course of six years, I think. This game was made in three and felt like they knew exactly what game they wanted to make the whole time. This, yeah, it was so well put together. The art direction was amazing. The narration or, or the, the narrative, the story was amazing. I loved how uh, Anderson and Alan's stories were interweaving with each other. Um, all the side stuff that you could do I thought was pretty fun, like using the flashlight to find stuff and lining things up. I actually really like that. I didn't get to everything just because I wanted to get to the ending, but... Uh, why did that get to me? Yeah, it was very, very sweet, you know? It's a nice reveal that Alice actually went back in to save Alan and still loved him, and... I was so sad when it was like, oh god, uh, that's how Alice's life ends. She thinks Alan was haunting her. It's like, nah, <laughs> it's not true. Man. I've started Final Draft and already found new stuff, but I believe the most new content is near the end, yeah. So there'll probably be some some other stuff at least added to the ending. I'm gonna have to watch it on YouTube. Uh, I just saw on the Alan Wake website they have a pattern on how to knit Saga Sword. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about that. So it wasn't a fan thing, it was official. Yeah, they uh, made a pattern for her sweater so you could make it, but I think you have to, yeah, you have to knit it. Me and Ribo don't know how to knit. We only know crochet. Unfortunately. Uh, Gaming University did a new Game Plus playthrough. Possible someone will make a cutscene compilation or something similar. Oh yeah, for sure. There's probably something out there now. Really one of the best games I've seen in a while. 2023 was a year for video games. Yeah, it was uh, a lot of great games came out last year. UA testers. There they are. So many. Lots of Jacobs. <laughs> lots of Camilles, lots of Carols. Oh my goodness. A couple of Marcins. A lot of Michaels. <laughs> Man. Yeah, this game... I feel like this is a 10 out of 10 kind of game, you know? Any, any time where it kind of felt like it was going on a little long was just because I was running around trying to find items and stuff. It was not like anything about the game itself, you know? Because there were times where I'm like, okay, I'm getting a little bored. It's because I'm I'm looking around too much. I did enjoy it though. I, I even liked doing that. But... If you start learning how to knit now, you can probably get the Christmas sweater done by Christmas 2024. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Now that I've finished this game, I'll definitely, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, aside from some glitchiness, which honestly doesn't usually factor into my ranking of a game unless it prevents me from playing. There were some moments where like I had to close the game and reopen it and fix a, a glitch, but it was never anything like, oh, I can't even finish the game because of it or anything like that. It was always just like, oh, that fixed it, you know? Um, but aside from that, I can't really think of anything bad about the game. I mean, I guess one thing I'll say is I feel like the audio leveling could have been better. That's that's the one criticism I have, especially as a streamer who's like playing the game audio for all of you in an audience. It's not super easy for me to like increase the volume lower, increase the volume lower. You know, there was parts of the game where it was really, really loud and there were parts of the game that were really, really quiet. And so there was never a good level volume for me to have. Whereas if you're just playing it on your own, you could just bump up the volume on your TV and bump it back down. But still, it's a little annoying, right? So that's the only thing I would say is like they should, or not should, but they could have leveled it a little bit better. So it's not so drastically different. At least make the quiet stuff a little louder so it's easier to hear at a regular volume. But 
Aside from that, that's all like technical stuff. I didn't see anything wrong with the story or the characters, you know, I, I thought it was all really great. I think the way that Anderson's character was handled was great. At least from my perspective, I'm, I'm open to hearing like other people's perspectives, of course. Um, but from, from what I experienced, from what I played, I think it's a wonderful game and uh, it definitely deserved to be uh, nominated for, for game of the year. I still think, you know, BG3 is an amazing game. I'm glad that it won. I don't feel like, oh, Alan Wake was robbed. No, there was a lot of competition last year, um, but it is an amazing game. I think it should be like top three best games of last year, for sure. And I don't know how well it sold. Like, I don't know how popular Alan Wake 2 was as far as like people actually playing it and buying it. But if it wasn't very popular, I think that's a disservice because it's a, it's a great game. I think definitely a lot better than the first one. Not to say the first one was bad. I think it, the first one really sets up a good platform or jumping. I don't know, a good level for this one to jump off of. However you, however you say that. It set up a really good story that they took and ran with and, and did a really great thing. You start, oh no, I already read that, sorry. Generally perfectly paced game. Yeah, I think the pacing was really good. I don't think there was really a part where you can get bored if you're focusing on the story. Um, I love that you were able to like switch between the different characters whenever you wanted to. And then towards the ending, it made sense that it kind of forced you into a particular uh, way. Because it, it wouldn't, you know, I don't think the story would have worked as well if it was, oh, you can choose whenever because it'd be really disjointed. But anyway, it made sense. Uh, there's basically no good data on how this game sold because it was all digital and some companies don't just don't reveal those numbers. Interesting. That's weird because usually I, uh, you know, in the gaming community, that's something we talk about a lot. Okay, Arkham says there's something. Oh, Epic doesn't share PC sales numbers from the game store. Huh. Like, I can see from a business perspective why they do that, but at the same time, it's like, why are you hiding that? <laughs> what, like, what is it, you know? A lot of, a lot of games, it's pretty well known how well they do or not. Looking at analytics, apparently it sold 850k copies by end of November, but that was a Google search and says for PS5, Xbox only. Yeah, so that's only like a portion of it and we don't know how accurate it is. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, I hope it sold well. I think it, it deserves it. Even if you don't like Alan Wake, I think that you could probably jump into this game and just watch like a video about the first one. You know what I mean? A lot of people do that. I think just jumping in and not looking up anything might be a little confusing because it's going to reference stuff from the first game. But now that I finished it, I'm like, you could probably play this without playing the first one if you have like just some basic information about the first game. Because I don't want the first game to be a deterrent for people to get into this one, you know? Because this one was a masterpiece. It's truly a really, really great game. And I'm not just saying that. <laughs> it was very good. Uh, any sales number you find for this are just best guesses. Okay. Yeah. It's just, it's interesting. It's something I'm curious about because I'm like, oh, I wonder how this uh, performed compared to, say, um, what was some other popular games that came out? Like Resident Evil 4, right? I have to assume Resident Evil 4 sold more just because it's a more well-known IP. Like it's Resident Evil and Capcom. But I think this deserves to be up there with games like that, you know? And the other, you know, the other issue too is only digital, yeah. Even even if the stats were not hidden because of that, a lot of people were conflicted about that. You know, I mean, we talked about that earlier. So I don't know, that might have impacted sales as well, but it was cheaper because of that. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. Well, I'm very glad I finished this game. I, I didn't want to rush through it. I don't think I did. I, it took me 10 streams, including today, to finish it. I don't think that's too bad. I could have spent a little bit longer if I wanted to really, like, get all the side items, but I'm not a 100% completionist, you know? It, it's fine if I skip some stuff, but... I think it's a game that it's really easy to get lost in doing that and running around, getting all the stuff, solving all the puzzles. I did enjoy it. I just tried to balance it with also making progress, you know, as a, as a streamer. First, me, we never found out what happened to the old rockers. Presumably their story will be in the deals. Oh yeah, I don't know, actually. Yeah, we never saw them after the, basically the musical. 
I hope they're okay. Oh god. Yeah, we didn't see them in the end. Oh. I mean, I guess they did their part, but they didn't get a send off if they're not gonna like escape, but I don't know. Physical retail sales are much easier to track independently. Hmm. I looked up some of the new game plus. Uh, oh, there might be stuff about them in that. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. So see, there's like some loose ends that I guess are tied up in new game plus. That's nice. I wonder if they plan that from the beginning. You know, do uh, do game companies plan that kind of stuff ahead of time? Because they released it after it came out. So I guess they were still working on it. I don't know. They must have already been thinking about it. I'm sure the actual production side of gaming is something that is foreign to me. <laughs> I don't know how it works exactly. Possibly made 51 million USD by the end of November. Budget was 70 million. Probably at least made back the budget. You'd hope so. It was a great game. Uh, I'm thinking because of the weird time stuff, they went back to be the band for the talk show from there, but I definitely wouldn't quote me on that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh yeah, they were in the talk show as well. So they were just in the dark place that whole time. I'm gonna probably look up a playthrough of the new game plus myself later, just so like I can watch it. Cause I know I'm not gonna get around to it. I've got Yakuza to get to. <laughs> this is a great game though, honestly. Yeah. I would say probably my... Oh, it's hard to say. I mean, I really enjoyed Resident Evil 4. I really enjoyed Alan Wake 2. I really enjoyed like a Dragon Gaiden and like a Dragon Ishin. I'm trying to think of other games that I played this year that I could put up there. I mean, Chronicles was also really fun. Um, so I guess that would have to be up there too. But those four games really stood out to me anyway. But I'm not voting in the best of issue 2024. Y'all are, so <laughs> that's up to you guys. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I would say Alan Wake 2 is a game I would probably like recommend to people just randomly. Like, you want to play a horror game that's like scary but not terrifying? You know? Yeah, get your votes in! Do that Bob command, Rubo. Exclamation Bob. Because they're calling you Bob. <laughs> I don't even know if those are the lyrics. Okay, calm down. There it is. Take the best of issue 2023 survey. Oh, sorry, it's not best of issue 2024. I'm, I'm already in 2024 mode. I'm sorry. It's best of 2023. <laughs> the year we just ended. Uh, Bob 2023 survey to vote for your favorite Bishop Clips playthroughs moments from 2023. Results will be real during a fun stream in January. I'm probably going to put it towards the end of the month. What does the month look like? What's the, like, the last week of January? Yeah, we have like the 30th and the 31st. I mean, maybe we'll do the 30th. I think that'd be a good deadline, huh? I just hope nothing's going on that day. I don't like to plan too far ahead right now because stuff is always randomly popping up that I have to do. Um, but maybe I'll tentatively say the 30th is the deadline. How about that? So we get the whole month to vote. And that will also give me time. Well, here's the thing. Oh, shoot. The thing is, I have to have a deadline for myself first and then a deadline for when the stream happens because I have to make a bunch of video compilations for the stream that we're going to have. Because I'm not just going to pop up on stream and be like, here's all the results and read them out. Like last year, I'm going to make video compilations of all the clips and then show the winning clip and, you know, including all the moments, blah, blah, blah. Like we're going to rewatch all the stuff together and then reveal, you know, the stuff. I'm going to have videos for other things that are not in the uh, survey, stuff like that. So it's going to be this whole extensive thing that can last two to four hours, like an award ceremony, kind of. So I have to have a stream day and then I have to have a day where I cut off the voting so I can then make videos with the results. You know what I mean? Like, I can make some of the videos ahead of time, like the compilation of all the stuff you can vote for, and then I can make little compilations for what you guys voted for, like at who, what won. You know what I mean, though? I know I'm really disjointed right now, but I have to have time for that. So I need to think of a cutoff date and then a stream that I can set it for. Um, What I could do is make the cutoff the 26th. I think, I think that's when Like a Dragon comes out. It's so funny. You get it, get it done before Yakuza 8 releases. That's a good way to remember it, huh? Yeah, the 26th is the Y8 release day. 
I could make it that day so that, you know, before what Yakuza 8 takes over everybody's lives, you gotta do this survey. <laughs> and then I could make the 30 or 31st the stream, depending on how long it takes me to finish it. Maybe the Wednesday to get myself more time. Maybe we'll do that. Let's make the cutoff for Bob 2023 the 26th when Yakuza 8 comes out, so you can get it done before Yakuza 8. And then I'll have to spend that weekend finishing all those videos. I think that'll give me enough time. <laughs> the way the music intensified at the mention of Bob, it knows. Best game of 2024? Alan Wake 2, hands down, no contest. <laughs> No, it's Yags 8! It hasn't even come out. Uh, for the Bob stream, will you wear the traditional formal gamer attire of blazer t-shirt, jeans, and sneakers? Oh my god, I should, huh? <laughs> I'll wear fancy clothes of some kind. I think last year I had, like, space buns or something. I did something different with my hair. When Bishy said, oh shoot, the music just went blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect timing, credits. Uh, just make a Google Doc and put the winners in highlighted text. Bam. No! Not enough! Hang up the gamer blanket behind you. Yeah, I'll wrap myself in the gamer blanket. It'll be so gamer. Hashtag gamer. <laughs> oh, I'm excited though. I'm excited for it. It was really fun last year. Because, like, there's things you can vote for in the survey, but y'all can also win awards as well. I just say this because I don't want y'all to think like you're going to win like a physical thing. I feel bad saying award, but then you don't like get anything, but it's just. It, it's recognition in the chat <laughs> that you did this the best. <laughs> it's a title you can you can have for the rest of the year. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> what about an extra star? We could do that. I could absolutely do that. That would be very easy. You can win extra stars in the jar. Help fill it. And let's see. Bob winners get stars. That'd be fun. We could do that. Can I put it on my resume? Absolutely. Best of Vichy 2023 award winner. Yeah. Uh, and then when they ask you about it, you can explain. <laughs> you can have fun explaining that to them. Unlimited burbs. Let's go. No, no spreading lies there's some long credits my gosh a lot of people worked on this game the bob awards are my favorite awards i did a good clip mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah for the awards that are not in the actual survey it's stuff like who got quoted the most who made the most clips uh whose clips won most of the awards in the survey you know like if someone got two or three clips to win they'll get that title stuff like that um a lot of those were from last year's stream and i think we have i think i have some new ideas too for for this year so yeah i want to thank the academy which is just my chat <laughs> bishy's chat burbs and burbs and burbs you win a digital bird at your interview you can show the interviewer your top quotes yeah like uh this one Quote 53, let us see Majima's neck seam, you cowards. <laughs> or this one. I would like to go splashing with Majima. Why are these all about Majima? <laughs> what the You'll get fired before you're ever hired. <laughs> Quote number 24. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's little messages from the developers. Oh, that's sweet. Here I am doing my unhinged quotes. That's so sweet. You don't get to usually see that. Aww. Always giving me the last slice of pizza. Aww. Aww. I love that. I, I haven't heard anything bad about this team. From, from the outside, it seems like they're a very, very nice company. Remedy. I mean, look at this. That's so sweet. I love that they make the time for them to have this in the credits. Oh. They seem like a great team. 
And like Sam Lake seems like a good boss, you know? Just from what I've seen. I can for sure show my interview with a tale about how <laughs> yeah, the quote from earlier, yes. <laughs> oh god, that quote 395 is horrible. <laughs> it's a terrible quote. Don't say that in your interview. What else we got? <laughs> yeah, it has been said 69 times. Amazing. Production babies. A lot of production babies. And the pets too! Oh! Okay, now I'm gonna watch this now. Oh. Mochi the bunny and Macha the bunny. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh no, there's an RIP one. Oh. Taco and honey. Bobby. Danny DeVito! <laughs> there's a pet called Danny DeVito. I saw that. <laughs> Very cute. Man. The drama. You know, it's fine that the credits are this long because I was going to have to end stream really soon, so like really early that's fine it's just making the stream go longer that's all <laughs> whoa 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 what happened <gasps> the battery oh shit i'm sorry why does this always happen my control always dies in the credits not the fonts they were just crediting the fonts Is that it? Oh my god. I hope there wasn't anything I missed at the end of the credits. I'm sorry. Cosmetics? Okay, well, it's working. It's working. Maybe you get this in New Game Plus. I don't have anything. Or maybe it's DLC that I don't have. Okay. The final draft. There it is. I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm not gonna be doing it. I'm sorry. We've got to move on. The fonts, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How will we ever go on? The fonts didn't get their proper credit. I'm sorry though. I am sorry that the credits got cut off. I did not mean for that to happen. I wish it would pause the game, even if it's in the credits, if my controller disconnects, you know? I think a good console would do that. But anyway, thank y'all for being here. Uh, if you've been here just today, or if you've been here throughout the playthrough, I appreciate you joining me on this adventure. Had a great time. Thank you again to Remedy and Epic Games for the copy of Alan Wake 2. I had a great time. Anyway, uh, again, thank y'all so much for being here. I appreciate it. We're ending stream just a little bit early, but I got nothing else to show y'all. I got nothing else to do. Uh, so we're just gonna end it here. I almost thought I was gonna go over time today, but... I was closer to the end than I thought. Here we go. All right. But yeah, there's my social media. Most active on Twitter and YouTube it is going to be more updated in the next month or two, of course, and be more up to up to date with the current streams. I'm so behind, but I'm working on it. And there is the Discord if you'd like to join. That's the best place to be for stream updates. And if you just want to hang out and be a part of the community there, we talk in there all the time. People share their favorite things and works and stuff. And it's a nice place to hang out. Uh, and there's the raid if you're going to join us for that. Either way, I hope you'll have a great rest of your night. Be back tomorrow at 8.30. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.